right on time. Hi, I'm Andy Nilsot, Denmark. I've traveled through time to tell you about this Kickstarter. It is to produce an audiobook version of my book, The Plastic Bathtub Soap Dish. Although this book's been written, there's still plenty to do. By joining this Kickstarter, you get a chance to shape the look, sound, and feel of this interesting new book series. There are three reasons for this Kickstarter. First, to produce an audiobook version. Second, to hire an editor. And third, to hire a professional artist to polish the graphics and maybe make some new ones. I made sketches of possible covers. The book itself has been written with young readers in mind, around the Harry Potter age level, but with an intelligence that adults can enjoy. The main thing is it's a rip-roaring adventure in time, where someone might accidentally learn something about history. Our heroes go to many different times in history. I traveled back to many of these times to make sure the story is as historically accurate as possible. Like with Ben Dolliver. Tis true enough. I guess some people have heard of me. Or Jean Lafitte. Everyone has heard of Crazy Ben, but why anyone would want to remember someone as mean as an alligator and as ugly as sin is beyond me. Or his lieutenant, Dominique Yu. Messieurs, he looks like a privateer to me. What do you say, Monsieur Rate? Shall we become comrades in arms? There are also some dastardly characters you're going to meet in the book. Some real, like Madame LaLaurie. It is just a rat. Why should you care if I kill it? And fictional characters, like Professor Mayonnaise and his henchmen. Be quiet, you oafs, he hissed. You're going to wake everyone up. Sorry, Professor Mayonnaise. The one who had fallen got up rubbing his bottom. Don't be sorry. Don't do it, you idiot. And how many times have I got to tell you? It's pronounced menes. The henchmen all got off of the soap dish. Suddenly, Danny caught the scent of something horrible. It smelled like old cabbage. He pinched his nose closed with his fingers. Even Mammoth, who usually didn't mind stinky smells, covered his nose with his paw. Ugh! The henchman, who had fallen off of the bicycle at Danny's house, began fanning his hand in front of his face. Stinky letter SPD, Professor. He pointed to the heavy, grubby-looking henchman with the stocking cap. It wasn't me, said the henchman, who had been called Stinky. He put his hands in front of him in defense. Professor Mayonnaise turned toward them. What are you yapping about, clumsy? What is an SPD? It stands for Silent But Deadly. Stinky farted again. It was Ox, said Stinky, pointing to the huge henchman who had been on the end of the soap dish. Ox glanced around and saw that they were all looking at him. It wasn't me. He pointed his finger at the handsome henchman with the long blonde hair. Maybe it was Bob. Yeah, agreed Stinky. It was Pretty Boy Bob. No way, man, it wasn't me, said Bob, shaking his head. I don't care who it was. Just shut up. Professor Mayonnaise turned back to the door. He took a handkerchief from his pocket and put it to his nose. So you can get a feel for the book. Here's a website where you can go to read the first three chapters. One of the cool levels is Mammoth surfing fire on a piece of toast. You can get this original sculpture signed. You should try surfing on a piece of toast. There are many fun levels. You can help choose the cover or the intro music. You can get the book in a paperback, hardcover, or audiobook. You can even choose to be one of the voices in the audio version. I'm going to be using professional software to record and edit the audiobook. What else can I tempt you with? My hat. I'll give you my hat. You'll get my hat, sign, or one made with better materials. But if you really want my cheap hat, you can have it. But the rest of you will have to be satisfied with one made of better materials. Thanks for listening. I hope you want to be part of this wonderful adventure. See you in the future.